Today we're off on a day trip to visit the birth site of one of Illinois' most famous citizens and also just to get some miles on the tiger. With the help of Mrs. Tiger, we back out of the tiger den and start our journey. The journey starts with us going west on US 52 through the farm fields and silos of rural Illinois. Most of us know this famous Illinoisan, but today we're going to the birthplace of this famous Illinoisan, Wild Bill Hickok. Wild Bill Hickok, at birth James Butler Hickok, was born on May 27, 1837, in Troy Grove, Illinois. Troy Grove has a population of around 222 and is 64 miles west of Joliet. It is a relaxing and peaceful drive. Here in Troy Grove, there is a small sign directing one to the site. Just don't blink. Our crew for the day, Mrs. Tugger with our daughter's family. Wild Bill, born and raised on the prairie in then wilderness of Illinois, he is a man etched in the American folklore. Here, there are three dedications to Wild Bill at Troy Grove, a sign a monument plaque by the state, and a huge bust of the man himself. The post office echoes rural America. Troy Grove is also a very patriotic town, having several war memorials. Troy Grove is also the residence of Prudence Crandall, an abolitionist, educator, and woman's right advocate. It seems that the draw of an old-time playground across the street from the memorial was a greater draw than Wild Bill himself. Continuing the story, Wild Bill Hickok died on August 2nd, 1876 in Deadwood, Dakota Territory, present-day South Dakota, at just 39 years of age. He was playing poker in a saloon when he was shot to death by the unsuccessful gambler, Jack McCall. According to legend, Hickok was holding a two-pair poker hand at the time, consisting of black aces and eights. The hand is now known as the dead man's hand. He is buried in Mount Moriah Cemetery in Deadwood. A good friend of Well Bill was Martha Jane Canary, better known as Calamity Jane. Calamity Jane was an American frontierswoman, a sharpshooter, and storyteller. In addition to many exploits, she was known for being a friend of Wild Bill Hickok. Her last request? Bear me beside Wild Bill. On the way home, and just four miles off U.S. Route 52, is Norway, Illinois, the first permanent Norwegian settlement in America, established in 1834. Here, there is an interesting display to farmers who suffered through the agricultural crash of the 1980s.
In town, there are Norwegian exhibits, but if one visits, I highly recommend a weekend, as during the week, these are closed. However, the theme store was open for business, and with the help of Mrs. Tiger directing us back into our den, our day trip is over. And as always, thank you for watching.